wrist so icy like Fiji. Y'all already know it's the AP. Six figures, I was only four. Six figures, I was only four. So much money, I can't see the floor. I don't even open my own door. Step out, there's a video on Sunday as well. <laughs> What's up, Simmer Sister Sinners? The fuck? <laughs> so last week was Sims Camp in London, which is where I live. So I sat my flat ass on a train. Choo choo, motherfuckers. <laughs> so thanks to EA, I was able to play The Sims 4, get Kylie Jenner early before release. There was also some puppies, two literal icons got engaged. I had balls in my mouth. Hi, Hi Steph, this, this is EA. EA. Just, Just wanted, wanted to let you know, know that we've we decided, decided to cut all ties with you. you. <laughs> So yeah, this is just going to be a brutally honest review of The Sims 4 Get Famous because I saw the beauty gurus doing it. It's almost like they weren't being honest to begin with. So my thick ass is starting off in Cass. A lot of the items here are made specifically for the acting career, so a lot of them won't be conventional for your modern day Sims. Like this hair kind of looks like a floppy turd, but then there's this hair which looks like Eldie Shadow Lady and a unicorn had a gay fart. Some of my favorite clothes items of this which looks like she's got a fucking featured creator pass for Tanacon bitch. Is Tanacon still relevant? Jojo Siwa grown up, literal insta baddie titty streamer, that one nice teacher you had at school, PUBG paparazzi, and Ho Ho Siwa. There's also a fuck Britney Mike. You better work bitch. No really, if you want to move to LA you better work bitch. <laughs> Honestly was expecting a few more clothes for my basic LA hoes who promise they won't change when they move to LA. <laughs> There are some gowns for actual awards that YouTubers don't get invited to. Like this gown, which is absolutely fucking stunning. Titty streamer on her wedding day. And this, holy shit in pink, it looks like a sexy ham. I think I blacked out in the shoe section because I can confirm that there are now Gucci slides in The Sims. It's what we've all been waiting for. <laughs> My mind was powerful. It was spiraling. I didn't even look at any of the other shoes after that. Help me. So as well as the skinny icon, queen, legend that is Tisha Potatoes, we also have a newcomer with even fatter pussy energy. He's popped out 100 babies. My dick could never. Looking to become a beauty icon in LA, we have Jeffrey Blowjobs. Honestly, not sure if Jeffrey would wear any of this. This kind of looks like it came from the thrift store. We love a humble queen, but Jeffrey would never. I can't tell if this is supposed to be a tourist or a fuck boy with a fanny pack. I mean, these are getting there. If they were arseless, we could be James Charles at Coachella. I don't even know what went off in the hairs. He just slowly more into Lagandra Astranger. I mean, they're fitting for LA, but this one kind of screams, all of my pictures on Tinder are shirtless, yet I shame girls for wearing crop tops. This is horse girl energy, and this literally looks like a lubed up mole rat. I love it. Let's get into the kids. Kids, oh my God. Bitch, I'm a cow. Bitch, I'm a Introducing Jojo Simwa, everyone. For the toddlers and kids, there's a few items of clothing. If you want your sim to be a bad bougie baby, that is. I mean, this is just Goot Children, Balenci, Goo Goo Gaga. She's just adorable. Her first word was Pradada. I'll stop. Okay. Gucci gang, Gucci gang, Gucci gang. I'ma come back like a boomerang. <laughs> there is a new world with this pack, and I mean, this is just LA. Someone play the Hannah Montana transition music right now. There's the suburbs and beach where someone will try to sell you their mixtape. There's the Hollywood Walk of Fame where someone will try to sell you their mixtape. And there's the Hollywood Hills for the people that actually did sell their mixtape. Not to be racist or anything, but the world's kind of small. There are a couple lots that aren't pictured on the loading screen for the acting career. Am I okay? <laughs> like I kind of wish there was a dusty downtown area that smelt kind of musty or maybe even like a Malibu beach area. I don't know fam. My neck, my back, lick my
in build and buy mode we've got some interesting new arrivals and just like all the other family friendly simmers I decided to build something that truly represented my sim so for Tisha I built some big titty energy mountain I like that when the sims are standing on top of the mound it just slowly raises them to the heavens now that's mobility Jeffrey's never been higher before and don't worry I didn't forget about Jeffrey here's his hole when the hole is that deep sims can't actually get out so I like to put Jojo in there to practice her singing you may remember that when I saw the Gucci slides, my mind was spiraling and so was my mental health. And I had what can only be described as an epiphany. I knew what I had to do. Well, I made a giant fucking Gucci slide in The Sims, so um, my mind is powerful. So this is where our blonde bougie bitches will be living. So right now my sims are currently peasants. I mean humble queens. So I started off by getting Jeffrey and Tisha a job. For Tisha the obvious choice was the acting career because I'm pretty sure that bitch can cry on demand. And for Jeffrey, I obviously had to go for the new style influencer career. Tisha immediately had offers from one of the four agents of which we could only see two because Tisha was too much of a peasant and it was time to start auditioning for gigs. Tisha didn't get the gig because she's too much of a living flop, so we cried on the kitchen floor for an hour. I then decided to push my attention over to Jeffrey and begin his beauty career. We recorded his first beauty video using my boyfriend's balls as a beauty blender and then had him edit the video to raise the quality. Me. Meanwhile, Jojo was still in her hole and now had a furry suit on. I've never seen her with so much hair. After she made some fat bops, I finally let her out and she immediately went to shit on her gold toilet. But weirdly, you couldn't live stream it. I don't know, I would have thought that you'd be able to stream making content, but whatever. <laughs> then this random famous girl with a blue waffle on her head turned up at my house, so I immediately asked her how much money she made. She called me garbage, so I decided to stream her without her permission. Gotcha, gotcha bitch. bitch. Like the responsible parents we are, we decided to take Jojo to the club. Unfortunately, Tisha was too much of a living flop to get past the bouncer. Jojo, on the other hand, can you stop having an identity crisis? Celebrities can't, can't have, have mental, mental health, health problems. problems. Well, she just decided to straight up abandon her family for the fame. And it worked. Suddenly, the TikTok icon, legend, baby Ariel approach. She was literally glowing. Her radiance wafted through the room like a musty fart. This was Jojo's moment. This was her way in. She went in for the hug and baby Ariel completely rejected her. Baby Ariel was over party. It's okay though, because Jojo doesn't care about what the haters say. She's gonna come back like a <laughs> She debuted her new single and then this woman threw some money at her. Is this child labor? Baby Ariola couldn't stand to see the success we'd found without her and tried to crawl her way back in, but it was already over for you bitches. Jeffrey Blowjobs tried to literally give out some free blowjobs to whatever celebrity would take them. His finessing failed and this bitch who couldn't even walk straight completely ignored us, so we shat on her star. Jeffrey also couldn't get into the club and unfortunately for him, Kat Von D was on duty, so he did what he had to do. Baby arthritis then tried to make a comeback with one of her TikTok performances but it was it's too late for her. her we'd already ended her i'm gonna come back like a boomerang collab time ladies jeffrey did tisha's makeup for a video and if you didn't believe that we lived in a simulation then just watch this clip Sim Jeffrey used enough setting spray to quench the entire world's thirst. Overall, things were looking good. Tisha finally got her first gig and cried on the kitchen floor with happiness. We also got our first brand deal for something called Woohoo Wear? Is that a sex toy? What the fuck is going on? I mean, if I wasn't demonetized already, I certainly am now. Jeffrey had just grown so much that he decided to go apologize to Mophead. I contemplated locking her in the vault and taking all her money once she died, but I decided to just take a picture of her feet and sell it on the internet, which I can confirm you can actually do that. I discovered this when I was making my baby Ariel shrine. Just like any other vlogger family, the cameras were always there to capture 
every single family moment. Were these real wholesome moments or was it all for the cameras? We'll never know. We even live streamed Jojo's birthday and she aged up just as expected. Things were getting a little slow, but then Jeffrey got a date with crusty Liza Koshy. The vibrations of David Dobrik's ass quaking could be felt across the world. Name a more iconic duo. I mean, considering this bitch was a global superstar, I kind of expected a bit more from the paparazzi. It would have been cool to see like the tabloids that they had in The Sims 3 late night make a comeback, but nothing really happened, even though we made out right in front of them. There is a reputation system in the game as well as the fame system. So maybe if I have Jeffrey do the 100 baby challenge with 100 different daddies, we'll get a reputation. I don't know, I need to play around with that a bit more. But the fame system works similarly to how the vampires work. Honestly, this was the coolest part of the pack. Like when I saw this, my dick fell off. As you gain more fame, you'll unlock different things that will help you in your influencer journey. <laughs> Ew. Like at one point, Jeffrey unlocked the ability to stay up for 24 hours so that he could do a 24 hour live streaming. I'm not joking, bitch. There's also quirks which you don't get to pick. Sims will just naturally generate them. There's also a new woohoo spot, ladies. Uh, yeah, it's the vault. You put lots of money in it, but we were too poor to use it. So peasant pussy energy, wow. Finally, after all this time and yeah, I mean, after all this time, it took a hella long time to get to the gig, sis. We sent Tisha to hair and makeup and... Ew. Uh, I mean... Like the like button if you wish Tisha was your gynecologist. And I mean, like the legend that she is. She delivered her lines perfectly and then immediately left the stage. What an icon. Once you get to this point, the career is way more interactive. You actually get to go to work with them. They don't just disappear like Laura Lee's career. And each day you'll get a set of tasks to complete. And if you complete them all, you'll get fame and money. Oh, also you can gain fame from literally anything. Most careers that you expect like cooking, being a singer, um, a famous artist or writer. You can do it all. You can literally be Zoella. I mean, you can't ghostwrite, but um, close enough. I mean, I don't know if you can tell because I constantly sound like my therapy session is in 10 minutes, but my wig is levitating right now. I mean, as a YouTuber, I obviously have some kind of attention complex. So being able to actually be famous in The Sims and Actually, you know what? I might just quit YouTube and have my sim become famous instead of me. I have always lived through the sims, so now we can just take it to a whole new level. Bye, everyone. I can understand that this isn't for everyone. Whilst what is there is great, I think would have made perfect sense, like a singing career or a modeling career. But they did say that as they make more things for the sims, they'll probably update them so that you can become famous from them. Like, I know they're going really deep, like Jeffrey's anal cavity deep into each individual thing, but I can't help but assume that some people will be annoyed if there's like a band pack that comes out later on. But then I guess in The Sims 4 expansions have sort of become this umbrella of content where they will fit into other things that get added on later on. So, uh, I don't fucking know. <laughs> but I am hyped to play it when it actually comes out because this took a long periodically time. It takes forever to gain fame. All I achieved in this video was making my three Sims a furry, furry household. household.